And welcome to Mission Reloaded Gaming. I'm Jack, and we're here with Mog Spawn as well to do our first thoughts on Destiny 2. Hey, what's up, people? Considering this is just our first thought video, we're going to have a very kind of quick and quick and dirty, simple uh, questionnaire thing going on here. What did you think of the beginning when we first turned it on, first installed it? Okay, so uh, to give a clear understanding of how I saw this game, uh, I have to use Destiny 1 as a comparison. The Destiny 1 demo was just terrible. It made me not want to touch the game at all. The storyline intro gave me purpose, pulled me in and made me want to be part of the fight. And I was completely excited and ecstatic about being in this newfound war. How about you, Jack? What was your thoughts? When I first played it, I had not watched anything of Destiny except for what my friend had showed me when it first came out. Um, it looked kind of bland the first one however installing destiny 2 and immediately being thrown into that wonderful beginning cutscene of oh crap the fleet is here everything's going to hell where's my character and then being thrown in the thick of it was fantastic the voice actors i loved i knew who they were immediately i it i just pulled their humor right in the visualizations were huge and beautiful hook line and sinker i was in it didn't matter how good the game was at that moment Cool stuff, cool stuff. Yeah, that's one of the things that I liked about the fighting was when we got together and it merged you with people into the a firefight team and then you were able to have to utilize the terrain to get the best out of your character. I loved it. Oh yeah. Well the units, yeah, the units actually like fought you. And if you moved around the battlefield, they reorganized themselves to fight you. Very rarely have actually seen that in first-person shooters. I'm hoping that becomes a thing. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I also enjoyed how I was able to move quickly um, from that scenario into the next scene without any sort of loading screens or any sort of, hey, wait for this to occur. There, there was some tricks that they used, some smoke and mirrors, but I really, really liked the atmosphere that pulled you into the action of what you were doing. Now, with that said, Destiny still maintains its linear format to where you're going down a hallway and you might as well be on rails shooting enemies that are left and right of you. The intensity was so grandiose that it made me want to continue to push into that fight. Yeah, it had that it had that rolling feel of, okay, you just got done with this. Oh, here's the next big thing we gotta take care of. We gotta do it now, now, now. So there was none of that Oh, I feel like we need to go do this, and like you wander down this hallway for about two minutes before anything started. No, you got done on the ground, and a ship picked you up and dropped you on the railgun, firing pods of people to the ground. You had to go infiltrate the ship immediately. There was very little stop to the, to the fight. Just speaking more on that multiplayer part, when we're playing the single-player playthrough, uh, how it actually, at first, I didn't realize I was playing with other people until I started realizing, well, these AI characters kind of had weird names. But we're sitting there just blasting this huge army that just starts showing up out of nowhere. What was your more favorite part of the game? What was your favorite part of playing the beta storyline? From my point of view, the storyline was a 15-minute affair. Felt like it was very engaging. However, when I walked into the cooperative multiplayer firefight that they had available after the initial start of the game, I found that portion of the game more intense as far as having to deal with more enemies, having to react as my partners are reacting within a battlefield. So uh, we both had a blast uh, playing the first type that was available. The It was open PvP, where we went one-on-one, -on -one, four teams against four teams. I really enjoyed the co-op mode that they had, that never-ending group of guys that we just had to fight through. And then it, it caught me a couple times, like when the boss drops the floor out from under us and this is the first time I did it. I'm like, well, where am I supposed to jump? And uh, it, so it, they, they, they pulled, they, they got me a couple times with the fear thing, and I was not expecting, was not expecting that. So that, that made me smile, <laughs> enjoy myself a lot more than I probably should have. And then of course, you know, you could grab those like motorcycles that you had to like kill the guys off of and jump on and run around, and. Uh, try to outmaneuver the enemy as, as you're being pounded on to get to the next objective for the co-op. That wasn't something I was expecting either. One of the things I really enjoyed but beyond that was the fact that you got to use all of your guns. You didn't just have your main battle weapon and then your pinky little sidearm that you'd use when you ran out of ammo. You had to switch to it for certain enemies. I love the fact that you got to use all of your weapons. The guns had a Borderlands feel and I'm fairly sure they're 
mimicking the first itemization that was provided within Destiny 1, where each weapon provided a different type of ammo set and damage based on that ammo set, such as the kinetic, the energy, and the special. Which my favorite special was the grenade launcher. Well, what was bad? Let's just let's just drop right into that. The thing that gets me is the fact that there was a limitation in game modes. There was nowhere near the amount of content I thought was going to be initially displayed. And this, I know, it, I may come off as a, you know, stingy gamer, or I may come off as like, you know, hey, give me whatever. I don't want to pay for it. No, 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 no. If you want to show them, if this is all the game's gonna have to offer. It better only be like a 50 to $40 title, but it's not. It's gonna be $60 with $80 special pre-order, all that kind of jazz. And as a person who plays primarily on the PC, this thing is coming out to consoles earlier. And I think that that is a giant affront to all the individuals who can actually play this game in a standard well beyond its normal means. I can't say if this is a good or bad thing. All I can say is that consoles are getting their money's worth today. So, good on them. Uh, well, what would we change if we had the chance? I haven't seen enough of the game to determine that, honestly. Uh, and anything in between, I don't feel like any of the Guardian's powers were larger than the others. With that said, there is so few roles to play. If there's only three roles, Warlock, Hunter, and Guardian, or was it Titan, then I feel very... I think of games like Warframe where you have like eight, nine different ways to play. This, I feel like um, I'm either A, B, or C. Okay, I guess that's the life I'll live, you know? What kind of jetpack do you want today and what type of weapons that all seem to act a lot the same? Yeah, if I, if I was just playing this for maybe, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day, two or three, two or three things to get my, you know, dailies if they're going to do that kind of thing, then yeah, I probably won't get too tired of it because I do that with Heroes of the Storm. But, I don't know. It's like, I feel like the same, everyone's going to take the same hallway. Everyone's going to, it's going to be like CSGO. So what's our verdict currently? Well, right now I'm on the fence with it because it's on beta. I don't want to give any words one way or another because Doom happened to change my tone, but it was a year and a half later. I'm just going to sit back. I'm just going to sit back and watch this and hopefully we'll get the best out of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, Jack, thanks for checking this game out with me. I appreciate your time. You have a good one, man. Ah, it was fun. You too. And for everybody else out there, make sure to check our videos out on MissionReloaded.com. And if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Catch you around later. Peace.